What's up, everybody? It's still Sunday, fun day. I figure uh, why not do a second video to show you about something cool. So for those that don't know, uh, these are your traditional DirecTV satellite dishes. A lot of people cannot get these. If you're a renter or if you live in an apartment or a condo, for whatever the case may be, or you just don't want an ugly dish on your wall or your house, right? See that my neighbor has one. Uh, we have one. So they have something new. It's called DirecTV Stream. And at Modern Utilities, we're licensed in all 50 states. So if you want either DirecTV Traditional or DirecTV Stream, give us a call. I'll put the number in the description and the link. All you need for this is high-speed internet, and we provide that too in all 50 states. So make sure you give us a call, or uh, it'll also be in the, in the description below. So we're going to unbox this thing. I'll show you what it's about, how it works and let me know your, your feedback in the comments section. If you like these type of videos, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click that subscribe button. Now I'm just doing the video here at my house, but it's gonna be set up at my office. So if you are in the Las Vegas area and you wanna come play around with it, we are located at 3441 West Sahara Avenue. It's called Modern Utilities, right next to Salon de Milan and uh, you can come check it out, ask any questions, you can sign up in person. Uh, if you are anywhere else in the United States, you can call that 800 number, and we have operators standing by seven days a week that can take your order and answer any of your questions. This is all it is, it's that small. Take off the plastic, buddy. And you just need an HDMI cable, which it comes with, a power cord, and high-speed internet. And you can hardwire it right there. You always sacrifice a little bit of speed when you go wireless. So if the modem router is not too far away, make sure you hardwire it. Otherwise, I believe it does uh, Wi-Fi. We'll find out in a moment. All right, so for the HDMI cable, real simple. One end goes there. The other end goes on the TV. Now, you see that port right next to it? That's a digital audio port. That's very cool. So if you have high-end speakers like Bose or anything like that, you can plug the, the speakers directly into that for the best sound. So I just placed it right there for now. Now the other end is gonna go into any HDMI, HDMI port on your TV. You're better off doing it up top, buddy, so it's HDMI one. Next up, the power cord. While he's plugging that in, here's that number one more time. Seven days a week. So obviously one end goes there into the back of the device, the other end goes into your electric. Now we're gonna turn on the TV and make sure we go to HDMI one, or whichever HDMI you have it plugged into, and we'll go from there. Okay, go to, I guess it is. There we go, lit right up, Direct TV stream. And as far as pricing and whatnot, it varies every week, something different. So just call us or check in with us for the most up-to-date, accurate pricing. So it does have wireless built in. So if you only have Wi-Fi or your modem router is far away from you, uh, you can connect wirelessly. But in this case, our Cox modem is right next to it. So uh, it's always better to, to plug directly into it. Now they have cat, the traditional one is Cat 5e, so they have Cat 6, Cat 7, Cat 8. The higher number, the better. So if you can get that, or, or I'll put a link for that in the description as well, if you want a better quality. I'd say go with a Cat 6, it's good enough. Um, but I'll put a link for that. All you need is a short Cat 6 cable for the, the best uh, speed, and which will give you the best picture quality. My son was trying to use the other remote for it. He's like, it's not working, but it has its own remote control. So just scroll down. Oh, maybe it doesn't have oh, batteries. So it does have batteries, you just have to remove the plastic to get it to work the first time. Okay, so and then take off the plastic that's uh, on the tip of it. Now go ahead and choose that connection, buddy. The Netgear 91 5 point. Yeah, there you go. Then you just type in your uh, Wi-Fi password if you're going that route. I can't find my extra um, cable, so I'll just do a Wi-Fi right now. And uh, hit next, buddy. Once you get your uh, network password in there, hit next. And you guys will see what I see. This is the first time I'm doing it, so. You are now connected to the internet. And like I said, we have Gigablast 940 down, so it should be pretty decent. No, we don't wanna play no trivia. So while that's loading, like I was saying before, we're licensed in all 50 states for many different services from Spectrum, Cox, CenturyLink. So even if you don't want DirecTV or DirecTV Stream and you just need internet, give us a call. That same phone number, the 1-800-484-5601. Or you could text 702-300-8488. I'll also put that in the description as well.
Okay, so it's downloading uh, updates. Might take a couple minutes, so I'll just pause so you guys don't have to suffer through it. If you know the answer to this, leave it in the comment section. It's still doing updates. The last question was, what can you watch in the gym that will continue to burn calories? And the answer was sports. I didn't know that. Watching sports burns calories. So next time your wife gives you a hard time about watching too much on, on TV, too many sports, just say it burns calories. What snack is an audience favorite at the movie theaters in Japan? Dried sardines. Interesting. So it looks like the updates will take about maybe five minutes or so. Uh, five to seven minutes. So it's a good time to take a little bathroom break, grab a snack, or you can sit here and answer these trivia questions. Five minutes later. Just about done. I don't know why they just don't put the updates on it when they ship it. It's not like it takes that long to arrive. Just, just install it with the right stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, your system will restart now. One quick restart and you're finished. Let's see about that. Fun fact while we're waiting for this to happen, you know when you erase a bunch of stuff off your computer or your phone because it's run out of uh, memory so you get rid of stuff that you don't need and then it still appears that you're out of memory? It doesn't really take effect until you restart either the computer or the phone. So just FYI for future reference. Direct TV stream. Powered by Android TV. I mean, you're still gonna pay about 90% of what you would pay for standard direct TV, but it just gives you the ability of going through the, the internet So can your regular satellite my son was just asking what's the difference the satellite dish it bounces off the satellite in space there's there's Issues that can happen like your, your satellite TV can get knocked out if there's uh, storms snow uh, Excessive rain uh, this one will get knocked out if your internet goes out it's kind of scary how everything is on internet these days. Like people have their phone on their internet, obviously your gaming system, your TVs, like your computers, everything. So back in the day, if one thing went out, you still would have your phone or you would have this or that. But these days, if your internet goes out, it's like you lose everything. So make sure you have a battery backup. I have two different forms of internet. I have the T-Mobile home internet and I use Cox at home because CenturyLink is only 10 megs here. Now at my office, we can get uh, much faster with CenturyLink. They have something called uh, quantum fiber or lumen, and you can get 940 symmetrical. What that means is 940 down, 940 up. Whereas Cox, if they're advertising 940, it's 940 down, but only 30 up. Um, and what that means, it's a, your download speed versus your upload speed. If you're just watching something like this, all you care about is your download speed. But if you're doing a video call or you're uploading, like I'm gonna upload this file to YouTube when I'm done, if I have 30 up, it's gonna take a, a little bit longer, but if I have 940 up, you know, I can take a 10 minute video like this and upload it in a few seconds. All right, now it's time to update your remote. Can you hit that, buddy? Press and hold these three buttons, or these uh, buttons for three seconds. Are you aiming it at the thing? Okay. Your remote's fully set up. Better with Google. Cast to TV, voice, apps, and more. Just hit next. So you can sign in with your Google account. Go ahead and hit sign in or skip. What do you want to do? You can get more content if you hit sign in. Okay, so he just signed in with his Google account. And if you have things like YouTube Premium, that'll also be on the TV. And, and that just means you're not going to have commercials and you know better quality content and whatnot. So search across all your TV apps. Just hit allow, buddy. So you can do your Prime Video, your Netflix. Get the most out of your Google Assistant. Just hit continue. Google Meet. That's interesting. I guess you'd have to have a camera on your TV and then you can be like the Jetsons and do these uh, video calls through the TV. Just hit continue for everything. 
All right, two minutes left. I'm gonna go have a coffee and some pumpkin pie, and I'll be back. So okay, this just came up on its own. Remote's October, about to update. Hit North okay. Has been well above average temperature-wise. Places now like that's Seattle, gonna update. Spokane. Oh, you can actually use this remote to control your TV. I'll do. Uh, let's do it. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it separate because if I take this to my office, I don't want you to have to reprogram. That came back on. AccuWeather 361. Hopefully there's no more updates and we can start watching this thing. And you can see the air quality, not the best today. Uh, that flow blowing offshore, so not a huge sound. Has a microphone That's thing right there in the middle. It does look like the air quality will try to improve a little bit for some on Monday, but still a lot of the haze and smoke in the air. And looking at Monday's temperatures where the air quality does improve a little bit, it won't be as warm, but the interior stays very warm temperatures well above average you look at these numbers here you say well no big deal right but it is a big deal because this time of year our temperatures here typically run from the uh, what do you want to watch buddy to sports the there you go highs. here you can play with oh, it go down to your sports warm. see if you find that game you're looking for to be warm here right into let's Tuesday. turn the volume down a little change and here we go again Lots with a different mode and some 80s temperatures will continue to warm up through the middle part of the week but then like okay, so this is a, a game that you would have to go to some garbage website to watch. So let's see if it works good on here. What's going on? It's playing in the background. Here, let me see the remote. You have to go down to sports here. It's not very responsive. Unless it's still doing some type of update. Come on, guy. What's going on? Era of premium performance. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Cool Guard. Okay, what do you want to watch? That one? Boom. How's the quality? performance. This right here, Union Station is where the draft will take All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will reply to each and every comment. You have the phone number in the description. And make sure you hit the like if you like these type of videos. And, and be sure to subscribe to support the channel. Thank you and have a blessed day.